Okay, so how does a monolithic blockchain look like? And this is the traditional blockchains that we've had for the past 10, 12 years or so or whatever, right? They're, they've all been monolithic blockchains. A uh, monolithic blockchain, in the base consensus layer, at the most base layer, does all of data availability, settlement, and execution. And usually settlement and execution are tied together. Now, what's the problem with this? The problem is that if you do all these things at the base layer, you're doing a bunch of work. And if you have to do a bunch of work, that work kind of limits the capacity of the system. It limits the total throughput. And this is why many blockchains are now moving towards the modular blockchain paradigm. For example, Celestia and Ethereum 2 uh, are based on this modular paradigm, where the base consensus layer only does data availability. In other words, it makes the transaction data available, but it doesn't execute it. On top of this, you have a settlement layer. Uh, for example, this could be Ethereum's Ethereum virtual machine. And usually, in the, in the ETH2 model, for instance, these two would be tied together. And then on top of this settlement layer, you have a completely separate execution layer. Uh, and these can be the same rollups that we've seen before. Things like Fuel, Arbitrum, ZK Sync, many others. And the reason that this model is so good is because now the base consensus layer does not have to be burdened with doing settlement and execution. It can just focus on data availability, and therefore it can provide a much higher capacity of data availability by specializing in this. And then on the flip side, execution layers and settlement layers, by specializing only in settlement or only in execution, can provide a much better experience, much higher throughput for those things through specialization.